it's me again. Um, I've just penned my hand. Um, so, I said in the last video that this next video was going to be about my childhood with APS1 and HPTH, but um, my mum watched that video and said, I bet she doesn't ask me about what to say in this video because I was there and I was an adult and she was a child. So, I can't do that video until I speak to my mother, interview her and ask her her opinions on what happened and what really happened, which is my opinion. So, um, I'm just going to do like a kind of round up of what's been happening. I'm sitting on a bean bag and it's really bizarre. Um, so, I was at, that's my dishwasher, it's finished. Um, Okay, so I went for a hospital appointment on Wednesday. Well, first of all, on Tuesday, um, my husband, Tommy, went on deployment for God knows how long. And there's like no contact or anything. So we can't speak. I can send like short letter type things, but they're like one way letters. So I can only write a certain amount of numbers of words to him can't tell him anything important or anything bad or anything like what I'm about to tell you I can't tell him that he doesn't have a clue um so I went to the hospital on Wednesday and the doctor said that he wants to get a portocath portocath whatever it is it's a bump in your chest so they put like, like it'll be like in here or in there or something. So say it's in here and I'll have like a cut. They'll cut me open and then put like a tube in right up to my jugly, jugular vein and then sew it up so there'll be like a little valve inside my chest and then when it comes to getting like infusions and stuff, they'll just insert like a little needle just directly into that so they don't have to find a vein and stuff because my arms are wrecked. Um, so that's the news of the week. Ta-da! I'm a bit terrified about it to be honest. Like the thought of getting it done and the fact that they don't knock you out. Like what's wrong with this country? Why don't, why won't they knock me out? Like in America, like, my friend, Nikki, just got one, and she gets them all the time, and they knock her out. I'm not getting knocked out. I've got to be brave. And I am not brave. As much as everybody keeps telling me, oh, you're so brave, doing this stuff, being poorly and stuff, but I'm actually not brave. I'm a total big girl's blouse. Like, whatever. I can't say what I actually want to say. Because it's swearing. Um, so, this week though, um, because on Tuesday, Tommy went to sea. So that was sad. And I can't sleep. I've been sleeping on the couch. Right there. I looked after my cousin's little puggy dog thing. She's a pug shit. She's a pug shit. She's a shit so pug cross. So, she's a pug shit. And me and her had a jolly old time. We went for walks. She tried to fight with a horse. And, yeah, she, she's like this size and the horse is like, rah. So the horse scared her away. Um, But she has like heavy breathing. So everywhere I went, everybody was like, what's wrong with your dog? Oh my God, what have you done to your dog? Where have you had her? She's only little. And she's like heavy breathing. But she heavy breathes all the day like morning till night like that's how she breathes she is freaking adorable she's beautiful she looks like a little ewok um but i had her i was going to do a video yesterday but i had her and she was breathing so i couldn't i did do some rough drafts but you could hear her heavy breathing it was like something crazy was going on behind me um so I took her out on a walk, but my legs were really sore and she was pooped, so we came back home. But I've not been sleeping, like, 
much at all. I just kind of wake up every couple hours and I have pains in my hand for some reason. Like in here, I keep getting pain, um, like stabby pains that wake me up in the night. Um, <clears throat> I've got leg pains as usual, just everything sore. My tummy hurts still. Um, so I've not really been having a good time of it. I look really puffy, like my face looks really puffy, but I think that's just like water. <laughs> Pull my mask off. Um, so yeah, I feel like crap this week to be fair. I don't feel great, but I'll be going in for an infusion pretty soon. When it gets till I can't take it anymore, then I'll go in because that's kind of how I work it. Like, I wait until I just can't take it anymore and then I go in. There's no sense in me going in before that point because it's a waste of my life and my enjoyment and my television and my sofa and my home and my kitchen and the, all the food I can eat when I want to eat, which I've not really been doing that much either. Um, but yeah, that's another thing the doctor said. They said I have to eat vegetables. So I am a vegan who doesn't really like vegetables much anymore. Like I used to eat loads of vegetables all the time and mom's always saying, but you used to be so healthy. Why are you not drinking water? And I do drink, I don't drink anything else. Like, I don't drink juice or fizzy juice or anything. I just drink water because I like it. But I don't really... I'm dehydrated all the time. I sleep constantly and I feel sick. So that doesn't really lend well to eating properly. And if I get hungry, it's for, like, potato waffles with Violife vegan cheese melted on top with chicken nuggets on top of that. And then mayonnaise. And hot sauce. That's what I had last night. Today though, I got up and I had a bagel, a white bagel with sesame seeds on top and a burger and blue cheese, like vegan blue cheese and what else did I have on it? Like mayonnaise and I think I had mayonnaise, vegan mayonnaise obviously and something else, lettuce. So, vegetable, so I had some lettuce this morning, <laughs> I had a salad for my breakfast this morning, um, and for dinner, I didn't have lunch, because I felt too sick, so for dinner, I had a stir fry of loads of vegetables, all of those vegetables being bok choy, baby corn, bean sprouts, and monge too. I think, I think that's it. And a little bit of brown rice and some soy sauce. And I stir fried it up and then ate it, but I didn't eat all of it. I did, I made a good effort. And then I ate five chocolates. They're amazing. Mom got me them from Oban the other day from a little cafe, the little pot and shed that the lady that owns it is amazing. She's so nice to me. She's like the bomb dot com. But the oh just wreck everything in the house. I will show you what these are. They're little kind of triangly long like Tobler but little. They're called Ve Vegolinos. Vegolinos? Vegolinos sounds better than Vegolinos. I don't know. I shall call them Vegalinos. So I've eaten like five of them. That'll probably be me for the rest of the night. But who knows? I bought vegetables in case I get hungry. Give it a bash. Um, also, from the last video though, I had people adding me on Facebook and stuff um, saying that they watched my video and it meant it made them feel like they weren't so alone and it made them feel better and kind of inspired them to go on and be a cheery, cheerful soul like myself. It's really hard. It is really hard to kind of keep it together, but I clearly do it well. 
I'm an obviously a good actress. Um, but I am. Like, I do like to look on the bright side of things and the bright side of this is that I got out what my condition's all about, kind of, and I've met new friends. Um, so I really hope that continues and I hope I continue to kind of touch people's hearts and show people that when you're really poorly or when you're super sick that you can still be happy, you can still be cheery at least and look on the bright side and find something, even if it's just a little tiny thing to be positive about because it's not easy when you've got a condition to be positive, but you have to. You, you're going to do that or just wind up in a ditch. Like, you need to be positive no matter what condition you've got, even if it's the cold. Who cares? It doesn't matter if it's, like, my condition down to an itchy rash on your toe. Like, it doesn't matter. Find something to be happy about and find something to kind of make it positive. My whole life I think that's a bit much not my whole life because when I was a kid I was negative really negative but now I look at my life and I know that I was given this condition um, so that I could help other people so that's why I'm doing the videos and that's why I've always been online and I've always helped and supported people and encourage people to kind of have a cheery spin on it. Cheer yourselves up. Like, you've only got one life. You may as well live it. If you're going to die tomorrow, you may as well do something good today. So keep cheery. And I will go and speak to my mum and make a video about my childhood with my mum, but mum won't be in it because mum doesn't like cameras. So it'll all be me. I'll be talking for my mum and for me. So until the next time, which hopefully will be soon, um, I will see you later and continue to subscribe and share this video so that everybody sees it because I really want to reach as many people as I can and let everybody know about this condition and how you can be cheery when you feel like crap. Because it's kind of hard. But you can do it. Especially if you've got other people who are doing it and you can see other people doing it. And you can see me doing it. So then why can't you? Do you know what I mean? Like, let's just all be cheery. Cheery, happy souls. And I will go and drink lots of water and try and lose this face bloat thing that's happening it's making me really sad Ugh. no right i will see you later and like and subscribe share to everybody like share the shit out of this sorry gran for swearing but share it so see you later